So next thing we're going to look at is the table of contents for your ebook reader. So in a nReader's Kindle or other e-reading device, they can take a look at the table of contents that allows them to quick link two separate pages in the publication. It just makes it easier than flipping between the pages uh, in the certain order. So this is where you would be in the design section. Again, we're in ebook reader mode here and table of contents. Now, if you click edit table of contents, here's where you can edit this. So we have a number of areas for your structure. So you can have root items, sub items and items. So you can complete this however you'd like. So for example, you might have contents menu. You might then have multiple items. So you could have front cover. You might have section one. And under section one, you might have item one, item two, and so on. You can then go back to add items under this one so it follows the same structure. So you can see how you can add you know, quite a sophisticated structure to this contents menu. So you might then have section two, and so on. On this right hand column, you can then double click in this and type in the page numbers that you want the user to go to when they click on this area. If you clicked OK, that would all be saved. And then once you publish this, this would be your table of contents menu. Now what you can also do is use these arrows to, if you haven't built the structure correctly, you can move them up and down and you can make items, sub items and so on. What you can also do is manage templates. So this is great. If you've got a publication that follows the same structure each time, so has the same sections, but just has different content for those sections, you might want to manage your templates. So you could save this. And then next time you come to use this same publication, but the different content, you can load your template. So click OK. Then you're ready to move on. And that's your table of contents.